Cheers. Welcome to AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron and this is Mark. And today we're gonna review Booker's. This is the Apprentice Batch. From what I've heard, it's not the best Booker's. I haven't had any Booker's, so I don't know. Have you had any of the Booker's? I've had one or two of the Booker's. I'm not necessarily a, a Booker's guy or Jim Bean guy. I did have the the Charlie, is it Charlie Batch? Charlie's right? Batch. I've had Charlie's Batch was right before it, and I had one other batch a few years back. I lie, I did have a Charlie's Batch in a blind tasting, so I have had Charlie's Batch. I don't know that I'll be able to make a good comparison, um, but I'm excited because I actually do like Jim Beam, um, so I'm pretty excited. And just because some people say they don't like it, it uh, doesn't mean that it's terrible. It's uh. 125.5 proof, age seven years, one month, and two days. Pretty mm -hmm. specific. Oh yeah, very specific. Hey, um, usually as long as the Jim Beam isn't overly nutty or too much nuts, which is generally their profile, it's the the real heavily nutty stuff is generally what I don't like. But some of their lower proof stuff that doesn't have real strong flavor characteristics of the nuts, yeah, that stuff I actually don't mind drinking. Well. This fresh crack just opened uh, the bottle, poured it in the glass, been sitting here for a little while. And give it a little, a little SJ right here. A little spin a -rooney. I'm sorry, I had to make a wrestling, okay. I made a wrestling reference. We're gonna cut that out. I don't blame you, I'd cut that too. I do get the nut on the nose. Yeah. Kind of a typical Jim Beam profile. I don't get a lot of alcohol. For 120 some proof. I get some though. It's a very nice nose. I enjoy the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that nut, kind of that peanut butter flavor. I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of baking spice. Yeah, I can get the spice. I feel like there's a touch of caramel. Let's see, I'm getting like a dark fruit, like a cherry note. Not a, not a bright, fresh cherry note, but kind of that medicinal cherry that people mm -hmm. talk about. Get a little bit of that. But overall, I really enjoy the nose. I think uh, one to 10 on the nose. I think I'm gonna go with a six and a half. No, oh, that's funny. So I was thinking the same thing. I'm going six and a half as well. Six and a half on the nose. I mean, it's not the best nose I've ever had, but I'd say it's definitely above average, so. Let's put her down the gullet. That's mm -hmm. interesting. First sip, I get a lot, I get a lot of that baking spice right up front. Mm -hmm. And then have that peanutty taste that just kind of gets over the mid palate and starts heading towards the back of the palate, but that spice was really forward. But a little bit of like that caramel backing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see for me, I my experience, the first sip was all the spice, the baking spice right up front, and then it went real bright, and then kind of finished with a little bit of caramel. It's got a nice finish though. That's, I'm still, That's still going. I still got it going on. But well, now after having a sip, the nose is better. Yeah. Now it's a little more connected. I mean, I'm getting some of those notes on the on the nose are pulling through on the palate. Not not quite all of them. I'm not really getting any of that cherry that I get on the nose on the palate, but it's it's good. But always got to go back for a second sip. You can't judge it on the first sip. See, now I'm getting that just brown sugar, that nut, that just, that, that was really sweet. I didn't get any of the spice on that. A little bit towards the back of the palate, but that was a 
that the Fannie Mae Turtles or whatever, that mm -hmm. was kind of what that was. If instead of pecans, 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 whatever it is, and if that was peanuts, I'm still getting the spice. My tongue is a little bit tingly, a little bit numb, and I just finally got a little bit of the Kentucky hug up in here. But for me, a little bit. Like I haven't, I haven't gotten any nuts on my palate. Really? Which is kind of nice. Yeah, I get, I get that. But I enjoy that. No, I mean I can definitely. Um, I don't think it drinks 120 proof. Um, but you do get a little bit of that Kentucky hug down here. It gets a little yeah. warm, but. All right, it's not overly spicy. I, yeah, I don't think it, it definitely doesn't drink hot for what it's supposed to be. That third sip, I got a little bit more of that spice coming back. Very well rounded on that third sip. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that on that third sip. So, on the palate, scale of one to twenty, I'm gonna weight it a little more towards the palate because that's what it's really all about. We want our whiskey to taste good. And to me, this is pretty good. I'm gonna go, I'm giving this a 16. I gave it a 16 and a half. And I've even already done my finish score, even though I'm gonna spend some time and concentrate on the finish. But I mean, each sip has been a pretty good sip. It's been consistent and I still can taste it. Right, so you know already in advance, I'm gonna give it a fairly good score on, on the on the finish. Um, based on how this is drinking, if this is a bad Booker's, man, I can't wait to get the good Booker's or a real special release that's you know phenomenal. I don't think this is. This is. I don't have a problem with this at all. I don't have a problem with this bottle at all. I, would, I think it's a good purchase. I would definitely, if I had the opportunity to get this, I would get it. It is not widely available um it is around a hundred dollars so the price we'll get to that but i definitely think it's worth picking up i gave the finish an eight and a half i gave it an eight i got a nice long finish and so price and availability again it's not ultra available but i see it most everywhere it's also not terribly like allocated. This isn't yeah. some of those hyper allocated bottles. You can find these out there. Again, I think the price, I think I paid right around 90 bucks for it. Yeah, it's about the going rate. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I would pay that for this bottle. I, I think, think this bottle is worth that. Yeah, I think the cheapest I've ever seen bookers within the last year is $79.99. And that might even be on a store that had a sale. And then I've seen a couple tap over a hundred. Um, you know, this is barrel proof. Price uh, and availability? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving it an 8 on the price and availability. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's not everywhere. You can't just walk into a store and be like, oh, yeah, you got a Booker's? Let me grab it. I think it's price right. In this market, 90 bucks for this bottle I think is well worth it. Um, you know, I'd probably go up to 125 if I was really desperate, really wanted the the box and the uh, experience of saying, I might go up to 150 on this. But I'm pretty happy with having paid, you know, 90 for it. So that's why I gave it the eight. I gave it a seven five, so basically the same grade. Um, but overall, I'm adding it up. That's a pretty pretty good score. I'm checking my math. That's a 38.5 out of 50. I mean, that's that's really respectable. It's good. Yeah. I mean, it goes back to what I said earlier, right? If this is a bad Booker's, I can't wait to get a, have a quote-unquote good Booker's because yep. I think this is this is pretty good. I was um, a little higher. I got a 39 on it. Yeah. Well, this is, like we said earlier, a little bit. Traditionally, you like this flavor profile. A little more towards my, uh, um, on my lane. I gave it a really good ranking because for me, the quote-unquote nutty Jim Bean profile didn't really shine through. If it would have come across real nutty, I would have ranked the the palette lower. I probably wouldn't have liked the finish as much, right? And I might not have been so so eager on the price and availability. But I think it's a no rock solid bottle, really good bottle. Yep, I agree. Well, thanks for joining us here on AM Whiskey. 
please hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. Let's help grow the channel. Thanks. Have a great day.